everybody editing Deshaun from the future so we're gonna be doing a giveaway so make sure you watch the entire video and wait till the very end to find out what you need to do to enter hey everybody welcome back to another vlog if you're new here my name is Deshaun King don't forget to like comment and subscribe right now I am getting ready to go out for drinks and maybe like a little bit of a dinner with my friend Janae she's literally like outside right now she just texts me we're gonna be eating at the melting pot I've never been to the melting pot before all I know is like it's uber expensive but I I think we were just gonna go for drinks but honestly speaking i can eat something right now i'm kind of hungry i also just finished taking selfies too so i'm gonna be editing some photos while i'm in the car with her I cut the line was like um what do you mean we're we're in the store we're, we're not going anywhere until <laughs> we get some ice cream <laughs> so with your day we're about to walk into the melting pot y'all cold stone is deep right now they got people they got people outside look at this i'm not eating anywhere i think we're gonna go get one I'm gonna have something because I'm hungry. Let me see. Oh, I'm paying for your drink, by the way. Because I want to. To make up, to make up for the other night. No. be like, oh, thank you. No, you guys. So, oh, my camera's dying. Wait, let me change my battery. Oh, you got it. Excuse me. Yes, I always keep it on me. I keep that thing on me. Okay. You are crazy. Oh yes. Oh, oh my god, you're almost my age to the month. That's awesome. Oh you're Thank an Aries you too? Oh you're a Taurus. Yeah. Okay. I'm a Virgo. I don't think I could be friends with an Aries. You are friends with That's Aries. I thought I said that on purpose. <laughs> wait a second. She was like, wait a minute. Wait a damn minute. Wait a damn minute. Yeah, I have a question. No. So they have a drink because called Jackie O. Jackie, 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 Sniper spin the block again. I think he's still alive. What do I want? <laughs> That's my best friend. <laughs> Wait, no, they can hear us. They can. We're at McDonald's right now. No, you you know that guy on TikTok? <laughs> yeah. You know who I'm talking about? Nas. Like, Shaki, Nas I need you to clock out two hours ago. Shanita. Clock out for me. Hi, can I have um, one large fry? Give me one moment. <laughs> Whoa! Like, wait! Really, thank, you. thank you so much. We got our McDonald's. Oh, it's hot too. Yeah, it is. Oh, oh this is so hot. Oh my gosh. Oh, it hooked us up. Oh, it's hot. Good morning, everybody. Today is Sunday morning, actually. I am currently sipping on some cinnamon yogi tea. I do have a little bit of a headache right now, though, and I think it's because, I don't think it's because I drank last night. Like, I only had one martini. It also could be because I did not eat yet. I did just wake up like two hours ago, so I need to get some breakfast in my system. I don't see how people can go without eating breakfast every day. Like I have to have breakfast. Oh, also couple new things I wanted to talk to you guys about. So new venture, I'm so excited to show you guys. I started a quote page on Instagram. A couple nights ago, I just was like, I'm just gonna make a quote page. And if you guys wanna follow it, it's called As Told by Virgo. This is the page. I've only had like, I've been posting for the past four days. I'm gonna be posting a quote a day. And this is stuff that like I come up with myself. I'm not taking quotes from any other pages. I made the logo myself. This is what it looks like. Didn't I eat that? 
it's so like my aesthetic it's so my brand so like i don't know if you guys know this but writing is like one of my passions i have like many things that like i'm passionate about and that i'm talented with i i don't know i'm just a very creative person and so i do write poems like semi-regularly like if i'm not feeling the best or sometimes if i just feel impelled to write something i'm always resharing quotes on my story of other pages so then i thought why don't i just make my own and a lot of people i follow will repost quotes on their stories and stuff as motivation for the day or just like something nice to see on your story so i just thought why not just make a page myself and so i made one already like within the past four days i'm already at like 54 followers so and it's not just for virgos it's anybody that like likes what they see the quotes actually aren't really that zodiac related they're just things that i come up with <laughs> and i thought of the name as told by virgo like on the spot too like i i'm telling you everything i did was like on the spot like four nights ago i made the logo in like five ten minutes came up with the name in like two seconds and boom i had the page and I just kind of want to see where I go with it. So if you guys seen my last weekly vlog of my birthday, that was like a really big deal for me. Like that vlog had a lot of new edits and a lot of new things in it that I haven't done before. So I was really proud of it. When I posted it on YouTube, everything was fine. I did get a copyright strike on one of the songs. And honestly speaking, that's my fault because that was the one song that I didn't check for copyright. I usually check all of my music to see if they're copyrighted through YouTube. For some reason, I kind of just assumed that that song that I used in particular wouldn't be copyright. I was just like, um, I'm fine. I'm not even gonna bother checking. I'm telling you guys, YouTube tip, if you're starting out a channel, if you have a channel, always check your music. When you upload a song on YouTube as a draft, it will tell you automatically when it's checking to see if it's copyrighted or not. So I highly encourage you guys to just take that extra time to just check. Because what ended up happening, when you do get copyrighted on your video, YouTube does give you the option to edit it out. So the option that I chose was to mute the sound. You can either mute the sound or replace the sound with another song that YouTube has in their library. I chose to just mute the song. So when you do that, it makes your video process again. And so it was processing for hours and hours and hours. And when it was done processing the next day, I noticed it glitched my video at the end of it. And I'm gonna show you guys what I'm talking about. Okay, let me go to like the search bar. Okay, so, oh, look at me. See, look, guys, I always post in 4K now, don't you? This is what I mean. When YouTube puts the little 4K thing right there, that's a good thing. Like, you want to upload in 4K because YouTube will push your video because it's a higher quality than um, other videos on YouTube. Anyways, so the part that I'm talking about, right, is towards the end. So we're going to skip all the way to the end of this vlog. To, oh, yes, to about to about right here. So right around here is when the video freezes, like right after this part, the video will freeze up until the very end of the video. And that pissed me off because I did a self-care pampering routine and you guys didn't even get to see that. Look, right here, it froze, it froze. And the video is still going, look at that. From 32, 32, 45, 46, you see how it's still going? all the way up until the end of the video. It was not doing this when I first posted the video. It wasn't until I took my copyrighted music off and YouTube had to reprocess the video was when they glitched my video. And stuff like that pisses me off because it makes me look like I don't know what I'm doing when for a fact I do. Like it makes me look like I don't know how to edit my own videos. When I tell you guys I eat, live, breathe and sleep YouTube like this this is my gig like I'm always researching looking up different editing tactics I'm always I'm always in my YouTube bag so when YouTube messed up my video it made me feel really 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 upset but on the bright side it is getting a lot of views um, and I have gained a lot of subscribers since then but it's just low-key embarrassing because I don't want that to be people's first impression of my content because my quality is really good. But anyways, that's my little rant. I'm not deleting the video, it's going to stay up there because when you post in 4K, it takes a long time for the video to process and upload to YouTube. I'll be damned if I have to set up my computer for three, four hours again because my Wi-Fi sucks. No.
So the lesson of the day is always check your music for copyright. Always. Don't ever assume that it's not copyrighted. Just do yourself a favor and do it because if you're going to let YouTube adjust your music, chances are you could end up like me and they'll mess up your stuff. But anyways, what I'm going to do today, I want to put some clothes on, do my skincare real quick. I, would, I need to go to the store and pick up some, actually I need to go grocery shopping to be quite honest, but I don't know if I want to do that today. I do need to pick up some allergy medicine because I feel like a little bit of like some sinus pressure. I also need to do some laundry today and I also wanted to work on some content. I wanted to film like a reel or a TikTok or something. But yeah, let me go ahead and get myself together and I will check in with you guys. <clears throat> allergies again. <laughs> Today is Wednesday. I just got off of work not too long ago. I haven't been vlogging as much this week. I do apologize because I've been so busy with work and then after I get off work I'm like working on like editing and stuff so I haven't really been showing you guys like my week so far but today we're going to be doing something really fun. We're going to be doing a vision board party at Nana's house. Janae is also coming. I actually am responsible for making the charcuterie board. We go make some charcuterie coochie. I'm so excited. I've never made a charcuterie board before. I've been watching like inspo videos. I'm really excited. I'm actually gonna go to the store right now. I'm gonna take you guys along with me and we're gonna get some fruit crackers um, and a couple of other meats and like a couple of other stuff that I have in mind. It's gonna be really fun. I've never made a vision board either. So that's gonna be exciting. It's gonna be like a very chill, you know, relaxed, like uplifting kind of chill night. You know what I mean? We're gonna have some wine, finger food. It's gonna be really fun. Right now, I'm trying to avoid showing you guys my room because it is a mess. Like when I tell you, like retrograde has been hitting me hard. Like. I was supposed to wake up at a certain time today and my phone died. I didn't charge my phone in the middle of the night, so my phone died and therefore my alarm didn't go off. But thankfully I didn't wake up late for work or anything like that, so. But goodness gracious, I don't know, I've been kind of careful making sure that I avoid like certain situations because you know Mercury retrograde can mess up like communication, technology, all that sort of stuff. So um, I've just been like, you know, keep it to myself in my little bubble. Ooh, I wonder if we're gonna watch Squid Game because a lot of people have been talking about it. I'm gonna suggest that to the girls and see if they wanna watch that because I don't know what it is, but I know a lot of people on Twitter have been talking about it and I feel left out, so I wanna watch. <laughs> when I get home from this little kickback, I need to edit, I need to clean my room. Actually, cleaning my room honestly comes first because I'm not gonna be able to operate in this space with the way that it's looking like right now. There's like stuff everywhere. Very unvirgo of me. I'm gonna go ahead and take some Zyrtec. I've been trying to avoid it because Zyrtec makes me very drowsy, or at least the last time that I took this particular Zyrtec. So the last time that I had Zyrtec, it was this kind. And I, I think it was probably at the beginning of the year. I usually only have like allergy issues twice a year. And um, this had me like high as hell. And if we're gonna be drinking alcohol, I need to just be careful. I'll probably just go ahead and take this now before I leave and go to the store. Hopefully I have an okay day. I'm not really wearing anything too important. Like I'm just wearing this guest jeans sweatshirt that I thrifted a long, long time again. And I'm gonna wear some Air Force Ones. You know, I'm not trying to, I'm just going to a friend's house. We ain't gonna be doing too much. But all right, that was pretty much all that I wanted to update you guys on. We're just gonna go ahead and go to the store and I will check in with you guys when I get there. Some days, things just take way too much of my energy. I look up and the most thing you, you take, but can some way. I can so overcomplicate. People tell me to dedicate. <sighs> so I'm checking out right now. Girl, why are these grapes like nine bones? Grapes are expensive. Y'all. 43 bones and 28 cents on some charcuterie. Please select your pay. Better be lucky they got Apple Pay. Don't be proud of me. <laughs> I know what you feel. <laughs> you <laughs> look real soon. That's too much. Oh, with my girl again. You, hey, you're girl. like in all my vlogs now. I know. You're, you're like a, you're a co-star. Oh, we have some tea to discuss. I'm gonna have to turn y'all off. <laughs> Neighborhood Walmart's ain't got Nathan. I know for a fact they ain't got no wooden cutting board. This girl ain't got no wooden cutting board. What you cut your food on? Nana. Girl. Child, what we gonna be eating the charcuterie on? The floor? <laughs> the table? <laughs> 
paper planes. The counter. The I, can't wear, I can't watch no Nigerian TV. It's so good though. Like I, I, I can't take I it seriously. I don't usually watch it. Guang 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 breaking news. Stop! Because <laughs> <Stop. laughs> that's exactly how what they were doing in the show. Why are you running? <laughs> Why are you running? Oh, you know what I have on? Everyone. Like, yeah. That's what I smell. Mm -hmm. Because I like, <laughs> What is it good? Do you like it? Yes. I'm We're finally at Nana's. You, <laughs> she's like, look at her. Look at, she's like, she's like, <laughs> she's like, Girl, everywhere I go, I was like, you know this. Oh, well, let me go put a little bit on Girl, you <laughs> know. <laughs> I was not prepared. You look fine. Talk about, let me go put some makeup on. Ciao. Oh, so these are the little setups that she has. Honestly, when you showed me this um, over the phone, I was like, that looks huge. I was like, do you think? But I think this would be, actually, I think, I think this. Yeah, those are these would be like the perfect size for sure. Child, when Dixie wanted to charge me 43 bones for everything I got, just for like um like the meats, cheeses, crackers, grapes, strawberries. The grapes were expensive. Yeah, grapes are really The grapes were nine bones. We're gonna get copyrighted. <laughs> So I got my tripod right here. I'm very extra because I wanted you guys to like see me actually make the charcuterie board when I do it. So I'm gonna go ahead and put you guys on top of my tripod while I go ahead and like make the board. I've never done one of these before. So hopefully it comes out well. are some people that I can look on their Instagram and like, wow, they just look like they have it all together. <laughs> no, it just, in actuality, people just like, if they have a nice looking Instagram, they just have like a good eye for aesthetic. Like, how dare you look at my picture like, I thought you was gonna be stuck up. I'm like, how do I look stuck up on Instagram? Now, it would be different if your captions were just like big headed as hell and just mine like- Mine are, mine are. I share the birth, the same birthday as Kanye. You just like- Oh God. You know what I'm saying? We're just <laughs> all kind of people. <laughs> Not Donda. Ooh, let's get started on the vision boards. Okay, guys, we're getting the vision board together. Ariana Grande magazine with Teen Vogue. She's like, this is how I make my chicken parmesan. I was like, oh my god. Chicken parmesan. I was like, oh my god. Where is the D? I said that. 
I was like, where is the Z coming from? Can you make chicken parmesan? <laughs> Can you make chicken parmesan? Sure. Good early afternoon, y'all. Today is Saturday. As you can tell by my voice, I'm so exhausted. I need some me time today. I want to get a pedicure. I want to go to Sephora. Oh my God, I want to go to Sephora. I need to go to Sephora so bad. I need to get a toner. That is mission number one. Well, mission number one is getting a pedicure. Mission number two is getting more toner. I only have my glycolic toner from Good Molecules. This was in my drugstore skincare video. If you haven't seen that, I'll link it above in a card and in the description too in a playlist. This is really good, except I cannot use this every day because it does make my skin shed if I use it like more than two times a week. And I've already used it twice this week, so I definitely need to get a toner that I can use every day. Something that isn't as active as this. Peeling isn't a bad thing. I could possibly use this like on my forehead, seeing as though I have hyperpigmentation right here. I do have a little dark spot that's about to fade away. I can make this go away quicker if I just use this. Sorry if I look a little crusty. I just kind of woke up. I've had a very slow morning. Right now, I'm watching Lisa on Uoha. I think that's how you say her name. I don't know. Correct me if I'm wrong, if you guys know. She is like in the Netherlands. She's not American, but her content is like fire like her vlogs she's the blueprint oh you guys look he's so fine hopefully he doesn't look at my window and, and be, be recording is this invasive or not i don't know he was cutting the grass yesterday and i was low-key looking out the window i was just like um hey <laughs> look at him working he's so fine oh my gosh should i go out there and say something should I open my window and be like, hey? I was thinking about going to a movie, but there's nothing good out yet. Halloween comes out on the 14th. I thought it came out today, but it comes out on the 14th. So I guess I'll just wait for that until then. And plus, I shouldn't be watching scary movies by myself anyways. Y'all saw how that happened to me with Candyman in the other vlogs. So yeah, no. Oh, also, I wanted to update you guys on... The last time that I vlogged, which was a couple of days ago when I was at the vision board party. So this is the vision board that I made. This is Kendrick Simpson. I'm not necessarily trying to manifest him in my life. I just saw the picture. I was like, this would be great on my board. And then I got some Chanel. I got some Tatcha cleanser. And then I have these quotes right here. Intelligence, indulgence. You may be a man of few words, but you know how to make them count. I really like that. So that's why I put that on my board. And then I have always shine, trending, cause that's me. Don't miss your chance to be a part of history. We didn't have that many magazines to choose from. So that's why we're gonna do like a part two pretty soon. But this is at least the beginning of my vision board, which is it's not bad. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and take my shower and get dressed for the day. And I will check in with you guys when I'm ready. Okay guys, so I am at the outlet mall. I'm actually passing by Sephora. I'm gonna be going in there after my pedicure. I didn't make an appointment. Hopefully they'll just take me. Usually they do take walk-ins. When I called earlier, they didn't answer, so hopefully that won't be a problem. And then I really need to get something to eat. I did not eat a single thing today. All I had was chai. Why are they honking? All I had was chai, and I know that's not a good thing. Oh, and the outfit that I'm wearing, I'm wearing this palace t-shirt that Sometimes I'll throw on and then I have on some cargos from H&M and then I have on my white ones Vinny on my shirt. It looks like I'm coming up to the nail salon right now. When I walk in, hopefully they'll be able to just take me. god you guys so the pedicure i just had was amazing so the last little part that you guys saw they did like paraffin wax on my feet and that was literally the best feeling that i've ever got on my feet ever i'm definitely getting paraffin wax on my feet from now on it was a little expensive not gonna lie i got it because it was only seven bones extra but then i got my total and it was like 
48 bones let me look at my receipt because I'm not exactly too sure so now I need to just figure out what I'm gonna eat I have no idea what I want to eat I'm extremely hungry I didn't eat a single thing all day all I had was chai tea I think I want to eat some Panera because I could really go for some broccoli cheddar mac and cheese I love days where I'm just like out by myself doing self-care it's really nice it doesn't seem like there's that many people out people are seeing me vlog it's so funny I've been kind of slacking I know you guys have like kind of noticed I haven't been uploading as much as I used to like I'll usually post like a video once a week just because I want to stay consistent but I usually like posting twice a week and I remember when I first started YouTube I posted three times a week but now my life has kind of slowed down a little bit I need a plan because I definitely want to do vlogmas this year so I when I get home or maybe I'll take some time tomorrow to like sit and plan content for Vlogmas. Vlogmas, I want to take more seriously this year than I did last year because last year I only posted like three videos and it was, I don't know, I low-key kind of want to private those because they were kind of a joke to be quite honest. There was a guy and he was standing at the counter and I don't like it and I know the workers don't like it either but he was standing like right at the counter where like they put the food and you could tell they were like a little intimidated. Thank you so much. Enjoy it, and you already got your strawberry smoothie? Yes, I got everything. Okay. Thank you. Have a great day. You too. Thank you. This actually looks really good. I'll make sure I don't get grease on my white shirt. But yeah, he was standing like right at the counter, just like with his arms folded. I kind of went to be like, sir, I think they prefer if you just take a couple steps back. Look at my food. I'm just gonna sit here, eat my food, and then after this, I'll go to Sephora and I may go to Ulta. Yeah, and then after that, I'll just go home and finish cleaning and all that. Before I go into Sephora, I actually wanted to go into AT&T so that I can look at the new iPhone before I actually get it. My friend told me if you have the 12, don't even bother upgrading the phone because they're basically the same thing. But I have the 11 Pro Max, so it's time for me to get a new phone. So check it out. So you got the uh, Sierra Blue right here. Mm -hmm. So the blue isn't that deep. It's more of a lighter blue. That's the one that they are, they're showing up on that big old thing over there. Okay. So we got that as the Sierra blue. They have the silver, which is just a classic silver. Mm -hmm. more, looks more white than silver in my opinion. I'll probably end up getting that one. Yeah, these ones. And then they got the gold and then the graphite. Yeah. Um... So those are the four <laughs> options. Now if you went with the original one, I don't know why they do this. But the, uh, let me check if the pros actually have, no, the pros are the same. So the pros have less colors than the original 13s do. That's so, oh. Yeah, you can get pink. You that's can so get, weird. You can get like a darker blue. That's an actual blue in my opinion. You can get the black, which is midnight. Got a little purple hueish to it. And then you got the red, product red came back for the oh, 13. Oh, wow. And then the starlight, which is actually white. It's like a brighter white. Yeah, it's definitely like a pearly one. So the, the 13 Pro Max has the third camera lens, right? Yeah, so that's, the, that's what it's going to be different. So on the 13 Pro and the 13 Pro Max, it's going to have the third camera, which is going to be the upgraded camera for it. A little bit longer battery life. And nice. the processing chip is slightly better in the Pros than it is in the normal ones. Oh, okay, okay. Okay. Yeah, that's definitely the one I'm gonna end up getting. Okay, no problem. So yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yes, that sir, was no you answered all my questions. Uh, tell him that I'm trying to stay at this store. No, I'm <laughs> you don't have to. This is, uh, this is my first day at this store. I was, oh really? I, I was working for a week and a half at the review, so I'm trying to make this one my permanent one because I live five minutes away from here. Oh yeah. You'll get it. Just manifest it. Write it down. <laughs> all right. Thanks for coming in. Thank you yes, so much. Sir, no problem. Have a great day. You too. Bye bye. Thank you. Okay, let's go to Sephora. <laughs> I'm not entirely sure how much vlogging I'll be able to do in here because Sephora be blasting like some high monetization music. <laughs> and I'm not trying to get copyrighted. Is Ashley working today? Sorry? Is Ashley working today? Oh. She was one of the lucky ones today. I know. It was like, yeah. she, it was like a Saturday. I, I mean. know she's normally here on Saturdays. <laughs> My Sephora plug ain't here, y'all. Okay, so this is the rice polish that Arnell was using in her TikTok. 65 bones, girl. Uh. <laughs> They're blasting Taylor Swift. Let me, one second, y'all. Good morning, everybody. Today is Saturday. I am about to pack right now. I'm getting ready to go back home. And home, I mean my hometown, Brunswick, Georgia. If you guys don't know, I'm from Georgia originally. So it's my grandpa's birthday party today. And we're heading up there. We're gonna stay for a night and then we're gonna come back tomorrow. My dad actually gets off work 
he's actually off work now <laughs> and he told me to be ready i'm not packed oh he's gonna kill me oh, i know oh my goodness i'm sorry i'm literally like the worst person when it comes to like packing and like getting ready except i'm always like on time when it's time to go so with that being said i don't really have that much time to chit chat right now i'm gonna let you guys watch me pack today's gonna be fun i'm gonna be seeing a lot of family that i haven't seen in a long time i don't usually go home that often i think the last time that i saw everybody has been it's been some years so i'm gonna take you guys along with me let's go ahead and get my bag packed tell you what i did last night I came home, say, around a quarter to three, still so high, hypnotized in a trance from this body, so buttery brown and tantalizing, you would have thought I needed help from this feeling that I felt so shook, I had to get Okay, so I'm officially done packing now. It's now 8.23. I'm actually really surprised that my dad has not called me yet. I wonder if it's going to be cold. Hey, Siri. Hmm? What's the weather in Brunswick, Georgia? It's currently foggy and 69 degrees in Brunswick, Georgia. Foggy. Let me go ahead and like call this man and see what's going on. Cause he will forget me and leave me behind. Hey Siri, call daddy. Uh -huh. Calling daddy. Hey, you're still at work? No, um, I'm getting an oil change. At first I was like, I hope he didn't forget me. <laughs> nah, nah, I didn't forget you. Okay. As soon as they're done, I'm heading that way, so. All right, yeah, I'm pretty much, I'm kind of done packing too, so I'm just gonna clean mean, up. Kind of. <laughs> you should already, you should have been done last night. I know, I know. You know how I am. I have to double check and make sure I got everything. All right, it's all right. You better be, you better be done by the time I get there. I, I will be, everything's like packed. I'm, right now, I'm just double checking. All right. All right, bye. You hear that? tone in his voice trying to check me oh i also wanted to touch base with you guys on something the last time that i vlogged i was out shopping and i was in public and it was like a very busy weekend i wanted to discuss something that kind of happened so a very common question that i get not only from people online but just people that i meet in person they're like how are you able to like do this like i couldn't do this like vlogging in public with a camera uh, uh, uh. i'll tell you how i had my camera out and i was vlogging you know you need to make sure you have tunnel vision when you are vlogging in public because if you're the kind of person to get anxious because you're thinking people are looking at you or you think people are like laughing or making fun of you you will not succeed i walked by two different crowds of people and they were looking and laughing as i was walking by them and you know the old me would have turned around and be like is something funny if i want to laugh at the end of the day, this is my job. I'm working. This is something that I have to do. You know what I mean? Like I have an entirely different mental approach to it. So it's like, yeah, y'all can laugh all you want. Y'all don't know who I am. They could be walking by me, looking, laughing, and making fun of me. I could have been some big YouTuber with like 2 million followers for all they know. You know what I mean? Like they have no idea who they were just laughing at. They have no idea who I'm going to be. You know what I mean? Like you have to have that kind of confidence and mentality. Something like that would have made the next person stop vlogging and they would have had no content for the day because they would have felt insecure when i started my channel i had the mentality that like i gotta be all in or else i won't succeed you have people like freaking like Aaliyah's face who will break out her tripod in the middle of ongoing traffic in atlanta georgia in bughead shops doing pictures and poses on some high hoochies shit like you know what i mean like in the middle of traffic and she does that shit with confidence and perfection that is inspiring it's people like that that i'll see and i'm just like okay i can do that and, and sometimes you may even get people hype you up when you're taking photos you may get people you know like stop you and be like oh are you a youtuber what's your name can i subscribe to you i've met so many people that way and i'm pretty sure some of you are watching this video right now it's something that i know i was born to do if you're somebody that started a channel stopped posting content because you know you were nervous or like you didn't quite have have the confidence before if you're somebody that is struggling with developing content you just started your channel i'm telling you right now use me as an example look at look at other people as an example try to find other content creators that are doing the things that you wish you could do we're all in this together there's room for everybody but yeah that's pretty much it for now i'm gonna go ahead and straighten up my room because it is a chaotic mess when i leave to go out of town i like to come back to a clean home so i'm gonna go 
ahead and like straighten up my area and make sure that I'm ready for when my dad comes to pick me up. So we're finally on the road, guys. I'm gonna get some Starbucks. I'm with my dad. Cut the cameras. Dead ass. <laughs> Apparently my dad has something to announce. What? What is it? I would never, like I said before, let me repeat that. I would never get sent to Starbucks to get a drink for my son. What? There's no way. Why? First of all, you go there. I don't know the sizes, the ventes and all this stuff. Small, you do know. You just said one. Small, medium, large. <laughs> so that's out of control in itself. And then you got these drizzle pumps and cinnamon sprinkles. He got a iced tea. And I have no idea what what's in it. <laughs> that, goat okay. milk, regular there, milk. I did not say goat milk. It's oat. <laughs> <laughs> you being stupid. There's no way in the you world. You Y'all know my order. I usually get a venti iced chai tea latte, cinnamon powder with oat milk, and apple brown sugar syrup. Who remembering any of this stuff? I mean, what if I gotta get three drinks and then I gotta get my own? There are people with way more complicated orders. Either you come with me. You just will not get a drink. Okay, so my dad challenged me to a breathing test to see how long I could hold my breath. So I'm gonna see how long. I'm gonna start the timer here in a second. And I'm gonna start the timer in three, two, one. I say one minute, 20 seconds. Might give out before then, but that's all I'm gonna give him. Now, he already read, but watch him get redder. It's over with as soon as he put that grin on his face, too. Try not to laugh. Oh, look at the cute dimples. Don't mean nothing. He breathing through his nose, y'all. He lying. He lying. I'm trying to suffocate. Trying to put the point. Liar! <laughs> Woo! Woo! What was that? Two minutes and 21 seconds. I didn't think I could do it that long. That's crazy. That's wild. I'm and honestly, impressed. I probably could have held out just a little bit longer, but I actually want to take a screenshot of that. I ain't even finna play. <laughs> you wouldn't last. Blacking out on the road and drifting off to the side. <laughs> we would end up in the ditch. <laughs> So we made a pit stop back at my dad's house because we have to take Muffin, the dog, to daycare. She's excited because she's finally out of her cage and she doesn't know how to act. We took her out on a walk so that she could use the bathroom. Are you excited to go to daycare, Muffin? Hmm? Are you excited? Stop biting your tail. That's not good for you. Look at her. I'm telling you, an actual crackhead. Just unprovoked. Look, just a mess. You good, sis? You good. Sweet home, we are in Brunswick, Georgia, my hometown. I'm at my grandparents' house. It doesn't appear that anyone is here yet. But they have like this huge, huge, huge backyard. So many memories have happened in this backyard. Yeah, my grandparents live all the way out in Yip Yelly. Good gracious. Let me get inside all these bugs, child. How are you? Say hi, Granny. This is my grandma. Hello, everyone. I don't know why she acted like the first lady right now. She's just I am the first lady. <laughs> this best know. I'm so sick of it. All right, if y'all don't know, these are my, my, my hey, North uh, Carolinas that come in here trying to run. How are you? Uh, good. Yeah, I'm vlogging. You're going to be in it. <laughs> so, yeah, this is like my childhood 
family home. Like, I always come here. Every time I come back home, we always go to my granny's house. They've remodeled this place umpteenth time. I don't even know what the place looked like, to be honest, the last time I was here. What in the, what does she make you do? What is this, granny? Why do you have Sarah labeling the water bottles? See, this is what I'm talking about, y'all. My grandma is bougie. What in the world? She got my cousin taking the labels off the Dasani water bottles in... <laughs> idea was this good gracious we are done with the drive-by so we got to get to the hotel and actually change into our 70s outfits so I'll check in with you guys when we get to our hotel okay guys so we're finally at the hotel the party is supposed to start in about 45 minutes so I really should be getting dressed but I'm so tired I really just want to lay here in this bed and watch some YouTube one thing about this hotel the elevator smelled musty yeah, and it's, it, it feels very stuffy in here. It smells the type of way in here. I'm so tired. I feel like laying down first. We can't be late, like a little bit late. Like, the fact that we're going to be late. <laughs> where, it's where, where it's at. That ain't gonna work. Downstairs. You know what that means, right? They're going to try to get us to clean up. <laughs> I'm not part of the cleanup crew. Look at this wig. This wig is sending me. some Mayel or something. Kiki Curly not today. Ain't nobody talking to you, Otis. Yeah, this is giving good times for sure. Can't lay your head on the water. Living in a way you can. Jumping where Good time. In the crazy rainbow. Good time. So y'all, this is what I'm wearing. Wear skinny jeans. Peace, love, and hair mice. Where's my iPhone? <laughs> she is ready. Yes. Who are you supposed to be? <laughs> you know I want to be. Do now what a girl gotta do to make you see that we should be together, you and me. I want your love. I get excited, I get by the baby. You just don't know. Oh yes, 
Y'all make sure y'all follow me at the Glamologist the with the X on it. Okay, give and go, go, girl. Don't play with me. And on me on the beat. Good morning, everybody. Today is Sunday. So I'm usually always the first one up, especially on, like, on family trips and stuff because I take the longest to get ready and I just want to make sure that I get ready for everybody else. So right now I'm downstairs at this lobby looking into this continental breakfast to see what it's giving. I don't even know if they do that. Hi, do you guys do continental breakfast? No. No? Oh. <laughs> okay. Are they, do they do breakfast? Yes, they do breakfast. Okay. Steak and seafood. Oh, thank you. They have a breakfast menu. Come on, menu. Okay. Oysters. All right. This ain't no regular Holiday Inn. No. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we went ahead. We put our stuff in the car. Right? I did. I, I, did. I told you I was going to the car. You did right back. I'm going downstairs to get this non-continental breakfast. Why? Because I'm hungry. And y'all are still in bed. And it's almost 11 o'clock. Oh. It is 1021. Feisty children. <laughs> I really want Starbucks if we're keeping it a buck. I don't want no dry grandies. Did you say dry? Grandies was dry the last time I had it. Okay, then when then we're going to Grandy's. She ain't had a biscuit like that since my grandma died. <laughs> since my grandma with biscuits. We're gonna have to go then. With all the love that they could ever provide in a slice of government cheese. <laughs> Hi everybody, so I'm officially back home. I'm currently in Target right now. I'm surprised that I'm not like exhausted because usually when I get home from road trips, especially if the drive is like two and a half, like three hours. I'm in for the rest of the day. It was still early in the day, 6.56 right now. So I was just like, well, why not go to Target? Cause I've been meaning to go. There's a candle that I wanna check out because everybody has been talking about Kyra's fall favorites video and the candle that she recommended. Tasha Washer, if you guys follow her, she recommended a candle from Target too. And honestly, I've never bought candles from Target. So I just wanna see like what they have. Anyone that actually knows me knows that I prefer to have fall scents in my home year round. This time I actually made a list of what I need sorry guys my camera actually cut off because i ran out of memory card storage so i went ahead and i actually bought another memory card since i'm already in target i've been meaning to buy another memory card but i've been putting it off i was like do i really want to spend another 30 bones on a 126 memory card no not really but it's an investment to my career so i need to but right now i'm actually looking at the skincare section i'm trying to figure out what i want included in this next drugstore skincare video that i'm planning for you guys i've been meaning to look into some of the stuff in target because Target has a lot of brands that I have never heard of. And I also noticed that Naturium has a lot of good products that I really want to try. This is what I have at home, the Niacinamide Gel Cream. If you guys remember the drugstore video that I posted, I'll link that above in a card for you guys to watch. I love this. I use it during the day, every day. It's very light on my skin. I think I might want to try like this Retinol Complex Cream or this Niacinamide Serum or the Vitamin C actually. Oh, they have a BHA liquid. If you guys have tried anything from Naturium, like any of these, let me know in the comments below because I would love to know what your thoughts and opinions are on some of the products. I also seen a couple people talk about Verse. There's a lot of options here. Now I'm in the candle section. I'm trying to find the one that Kyra and Tasha were talking about. Maple glazed donut. Found it. Let's see what it's giving. This is hyped up at this point. Kyra. This smells really good. I'm buying it. That smells really good. Now that's an influencer. So I'm gonna buy that. I wanna smell the one Tasha was talking about too. Coconut campfire. All right, Tasha, your turn. Ooh. It's very, it's woodsy, but I love it. I'm getting that too. It's like sweet, but it's like woodsy, but not too much. If you're somebody that likes Marshmallow Fireside from Bath & Body Works, this is like a cousin to it, in my opinion. That smells really good. I'm gonna buy that too. Bloop. Hey guys, so I am back home from Target. I wanted to show you guys what I got. I have one of my studio lights up right now because I don't have like actual real lighting in my room for you guys to actually see the stuff that I got. So I got this Soap and Glory A Cream Come True Cream. This is what it looks like inside. This smells really good. It smells like a fresh shower. It has like a warm undertone to it, if that makes sense, like a bit of shea butter. I also got these pimple patches from Mighty Patch. I've never tried pimple patches before. 
I've seen a bunch of people on Instagram and like social media use pimple patches. To my knowledge, they kind of fill up the patch with whatever is inside the pimple, if that makes sense. Like if you have a really like big white head or if you have a pimple that's underneath the surface of your skin, it just makes everything rise to the surface and get rid of your pimple quicker. I also got some products from Verse because I'm trying to do a drugstore skincare video for you guys. So I wanna try out some new drugstore skincare. I got the Baby Cheeks All-in-One Hydrating Milk Toner. This looked pretty consistent to a new toner that I just bought from Kiehl's so I wanted to see just how comparable the ingredients are and then I also got the instant resurfacing mask it has AHA, BHA, pineapple enzymes in it, razor heads from Harry's because I needed them. I got oh another thing from Verse I forgot I got this this is a Daymaker Micro Crystal Exfoliator. I've been meaning to get another exfoliator because for days that I don't feel like wearing like a mask or a clay mask, when I do need to exfoliate, I need something that I can just scrub on my skin and wash off. I also got this Retinol Complex Serum from Naturium. I've been meaning to add retinol into my skincare routine for areas where I well, I mean, I don't have fine lines and wrinkles, but I definitely want to prevent them in the future. So I'm thinking about using this like along like my under eyes and my smile lines and my forehead. This was really cheap. I forgot exactly how much this was, but I'll have to check my receipt. I think this was like eight bones or something like that. It was really, really cheap. I got another deodorant because I'm running out from Native. I love Native deodorants. The only deodorant that I use, this is the Bergamot and Pine. You guys, if you have never tried Native, get this deodorant. This smells very good. And then I also got this Method Body Coconut Rice Milk Shea Butter Body Wash. I've never tried Method products before, but I've been seeing a couple people use them on TikToks. I also got <laughs> another product from Verse. This is the Skin Soak Rich Moisture Cream. Again, you know, I'm trying to do like a drugstore skincare video for you guys. This won't open. If you are somebody that likes Marshmallow Fireside from Bath & Body Works, but you don't got Marshmallow Fireside money, get this candle, okay? This is 10 bones at Target. This smells so good. Thank you, Tasha, for recommending this because I've been meaning to find some more candles, especially now that it's fall and all the seasonal scents are out. But you know, I, I gotta stock up on this. So yeah, we got some skincare, some body care, candles, all sorts of stuff from Target today. So I feel very accomplished. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this weekly vlog. I feel like I did a lot in this video. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a comment down below, like this video, subscribe to my channel. And if you wanna binge watch any more of my content, just click the playlist above where you can watch more of my videos, more of my vlogs. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram at King Deshawn, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. See you later. Welcome to the end of the video. If you would like to enter the giveaway, make sure you subscribe to my channel and also follow me on Instagram at King Deshawn and comment your Instagram down below. I'm going to be giving away skincare to a lucky subscriber. So if you would like to win, make sure you follow those three steps and I will announce the winner on my Instagram and also on my YouTube page. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one.